Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain, and guess what? Boosh has been banned from yet another bathroom. <laughs> this man is not allowed to take a dump in several places in the state of Maine, including now this apartment. <laughs> it doesn't matter, I'm still going to do it. It's alright, buddy. I'm going to buy you your own plunger for Christmas <laughs> next year. <laughs> no, I know how to use one, I just didn't okay. think it really it, it, it plugged your toilet. <laughs> But it right. drains slow. That Enough about that. Let's get to tonight's beer. Something that's guaranteed to put some some body in your stool. <laughs> this is uh well, that's probably not a ringing endorsement, is it? It's They're probably not, not a thank good me thing for that one. Anyway, this is uh, Flying Dog Sea Salt Caramel Brown. I like a nice brown. Don't you? Yeah, good brownie. All right. And Flying Dog's got some really great brews out there. Actually, they do. They do. They've got some great stuff. So this is an ale brewed with vanilla bean and with natural flavors added. So a sea salt caramel brown, something tells me, probably going to taste a slightly salty yep. caramel flavor. I don't know what the hell's up with salty caramel. Everybody likes Ugh. sea salt caramel these days. And that was actually just a plain old sweet caramel. Honestly, I've had the, the, those salted caramels. <sighs> they're okay. They're not bad. They the only thing is is that the the caramel could actually have a bit smoother taste. Yeah. Or texture to it. Well, that's just it. The salt in those caramels carries away from it. Right, but it's still actually pretty good. It's like all this pumpkin spice shit. Salted caramel is like the big fad right now. I don't understand why we have to have salted caramel everything. Don't get me wrong. Salted caramel beer, very different. Pumpkin spice very beer, different. very different. But And those are good. They're all good, though. Pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin spice face wash, salted caramel this, salted caramel that. It's overkill, folks. Mm. Make the beer, call it good. <laughs> Everything should be beer. Mm, yeah. Well, anything that tastes good should be tried to incorporate into a beer. Well, you got to remember, this saying is actually the best. i just got to remember it now. Beer makes you feel how you should feel all the time. Without beer. Without beer. That's, yeah, I can agree to that. I'm not really getting much of an aroma. No, there isn't. I mean, maybe just a bit of... There is a little saltiness. Almost, no, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't say, like, sea salty air. Like with, I like, almost wanted like to at say, the coast, like, sea Not water. quite like that, but... A really subtle... Right. It does have that subtleness, which is actually with the way the salted caramel should be, is actually a salt. Just a hint of it. Uh, just a hint of the salt. But it's a beautiful looking beer. I mean, if you look, there's just enough light coming through. And it does have a very nice dark caramel color. Yes, it does. If you look down here, where there's more light coming through, it duffel <laughs> it looks like a caramel, almost a butterscotch. Yeah, butterscotch. Like in that really thin part of the glass down at the see, bottom. See, the way, I'm, see the way I can see through beer. it right now, it looks like it's a little... Really, really dark, dark copper. Mm -hmm. And there's not much light coming through, which is no, encouraging right. for me, because I like a nice dark beer. But yeah, just a slight, subtle hint of saltiness, almost like sea air from far away. Not quite. You're, you're, you're like you said, far away. Oh, yeah. That saltiness comes through in the, right in the up finish. Front. Actually, I got it. I got it in the finish. I'm getting it right up front. But you can get the caramel. That caramel really comes through. Mm. The, it's interesting. Is it's really, not a very sweet caramel. No, it's not. It's just. But a, it's not very bitter. No, neither. No, no, it's not unpleasant. But it, it's not like a sweet, sweet caramel. It's just. It's just a caramel flavor. It's kind of blending with all the overall flavor. beeriness. I mean, it's got to be a combination of the roasting of the of the malt. I don't think there's any real additives in here that's contributing to that. 
It just talks about says the marketing key, and putting it in a beer. The key, as always, is balance between saltiness and sweet. Well, yeah, I'm definitely getting that. But there's nothing about the actual brewing process well, on here. Well, staying true to the beer itself. Or a, mm. That is unique and different, though. I don't think I've ever had that combination of flavors in a beer. No. Um, it's not quite like grabbing a piece of caramel, salted caramel, and shoving it in your mouth. Right. But there's enough of it there blending. I believe, like they just said there on the label, it's, it's a perfect balance between that and the beer. Wow. Yeah. And that's 7%. It's a heavy, heavy ABV. But you don't taste that at all. No, you don't. You don't get that taste. This is like a sweet alcohol, treat. Anyway. I, I wonder I'm... how this would taste if you actually had some caramel, mm. the salty caramel, to go with it. It might pair really well with that as a dessert. Mm. I'm actually prepared, I think, to say wow as well. I, I think just for the very uniqueness of this brew. It really does have that flavor. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be as strong. I was expecting it to be more subtle. Me too, but it's really... Especially with Flying Dog, the way they do that is they make it more subtle, but it's actually hitting you pretty good, with, and, it, and it, you're getting what you expect. Exactly. I, I think that I am, like I said, prepared to say wow as well, and actually slap this with a 5 out of 5. And I, that's what I thought too, right, when I first tasted it. 5 out of 5. It was just such a different and unique flavor experience that's really impressing me, and i got to go with it. And the thing is, this... I wouldn't want to swill it. No, no, no. <laughs> this is this actually is going down a lot slower than some other. This beers. is it's still smoother. Mm -hmm. It still it's is very, very smooth. smooth, and it is you could drink it, but if you want to add that flavor, that flavor is making you really savor it. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a very good, good beer. Ooh, pardon. I mean, I could go through a whole six pack of this easily. But it would, I would be taking my time. Right, and it's not because. It, and it's not really filling, though, neither. No, no. It's not resting heavy. It's resting nice and light. But after... Which could well, be dangerous. Well, after, after maybe one or two, it, it could actually... You could actually feel a difference, though. It could. But you got to definitely, at 7%, and with it being such an easy-to-drink beer, you got to pace yourself. That's true. So. Yep. That is very good. Well, there you go, folks. A five Fair. out of five from both of us. <laughs> uh, excuse me. That's how good And the is. aftertaste isn't too bad either, because you didn't make an ugly face there. Right. I mean, that actually isn't bad at all. So I'd like to hear what you have to say about the beer. Um, wow. Hit us up down below in the email link or the comments section down below. I'm also going to put a user poll right up here. You'll be able to rate the beer yourself one through five. Let us know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit us up down below with a like and a share. Click that little subscribe button down there. Click that subscribe button. You'll get a notification every time a new video is posted. Until next time, folks. Thanks for checking this out. Cheers. Keep drinking. <clears throat> wow. Delicious. It's very good. And I'm not going to do the disappearing yet. I, I, I saw it wasn't coming, and I don't blame you. That's a beer you savor. Wow.